Hey guys, welcome to the Person PD channel. We're back with another Tuesday event where we talk about everything that's anything and basically share my own two cents. So, it's another gloomy day. <laughs> What's new? Nothing. Get your cup of tea, let's chill, let's relax, and yeah. Basically, the topic for today is being independent at a young age. Nobody told me that it was a scam like that. Like, nobody gives you a warning. Her like, <laughs> baby go, it's hard. As much as it seems like, you know, I get the fact that it's very nice. The fact that you don't have to, like, basically, what's the word? You don't have to bother anyone or, like, wait on anyone to, like, give you money or whatever but then it's it's very hard man like on my side it's not that hard as, as much as i make it seem like it's a hectic but no it's not that hard but then to some extent it is because you just want to like what's the word like yo guys it's not easy being independent at a young age Basically, my background story of being independent, I would say I started roughly around 11th grade, grade 11, yeah. If you know me on a personal level, you might know why, but then I would say I started learning. I wouldn't say I was independent by then because my family used to take care of me back then compared to now. But then, from that stage, I basically had to learn how to, I have to use money more responsibly. One thing about me, I don't like bothering people. Like, the way I started was, a matter of fact, that if my family would give me money for, like, certain things, like, go do your hair, go do this and that, I would rather save it for, like, birthdays so that I won't have to go back and ask for money and be like yo it's so and so's birthday basically like friend's birthday and like now I have to go and ask for money to go and buy a gift by then I'll have already bought gifts like at the beginning of the year that's how I usually used to do it but then yeah man it's, it's not that hectic to some extent or like on my side I should actually be grateful for the fact that I had family still supporting me and they still do to some extent but then I'm mainly independent I wouldn't say mentally because if I'm, if I'm not mentally okay I do speak about it even though I might not speak about it on that exact point and moment but then sometimes I speak about it that's the other thing, the whole culture of being independent, like, they don't actually say, Hare, what do you mean by being independent? Do you mean financial stability? Do you mean b being independent mentally, being independent emotionally? Like, you know, to some extent, there is, like, a toxic trait. You know what? As you can tell, like, what I'm saying is not script. I'm just saying whatever that's like coming off from like the top of my mind. But then, yeah, it's it's not easy. But then, to some extent, I should be grateful for the fact that I was not holistically independent to that extent. That if you consider it, there's some people my age that have to take care of their younger siblings so basically they depended on themselves i don't know how but then let's say they have to drop out of school and whatnot so that they can take care of their younger siblings and whatnot so great it's easy being like oh i'm independent i bought my own car that time you don't have to help out at home you know you don't 
you don't have much of a responsibility because you come back from a stable background like your family said it's okay i get you worked for that car but then on the social media side it's so easy to be like yo i'm independent I but uh i was able to move out at a young age and what not apartment you know like the the lavish life man the soft life basically it's so easy for people that come from wealthy families to have that thing that okay i'm independent i'm you're flaunting with your life man like you you flexing as much as it's not a flex it's something that you're proud of which is okay like i really get that it's okay because you worked hard for it yeah man it's it's not easy but then talking about this m actually makes me realize how I, i'm more privileged than i could ever say because i'm independent but then i don't have to stress about basically taking care of my fam like or younger siblings or something like that that thing are like i have to be independent or i have to hustle to that extent or it's do or die it's a matter of fact there's no other way but so to some extent it's a privilege the whole independent vibe depending on in which manner you independent like i independent you have your own apartment you have your own you know you know i think you guys understand what i'm saying as much as i don't know how to articulate it properly but then i i'm sure you guys understand what i mean so yeah man that's how i started being independent at the young age that's my two percent of like my independent story that's how i started being independent one thing about me i don't like bothering people like as much as i might be in need of something okay not need because i have everything i need i would say i believe and highly believe what i have everything that i need but then let's say um i'm broke i'm broke at the time being and like there's uh friends outing and whatnot i would rather stay at home if 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 i don't have money i'd rather be like you know what okay that lifestyle is not for me as much as i want it but it's not for me i cannot afford it the moment so rather humble myself stay at home and i if they're having the time of their life that's good because we don't all come back come from the same background so cannot be comparing and always expecting yourself to do certain things because you don't know what's going on in other people's hands and you know yeah i don't know where i was going with this topic but then what i would like to say Jorge, as much as social media makes it seem like it's a fun time it's, it's this this moment of joy man it, I, man, it's not it depends on which level of independent are you like is it that level are you forced like you don't have a choice but to be independent or is it a thing are okay firstly my dad or my mom sponsored a certain lifestyle or they were able to push for me to get this and this job or whatever then now i have the money to go and purchase the apartment instead of helping out or you get it depends and yeah man it's not easy and there was this other post i saw it said a peanut salary is better than waiting for someone to give you money please please that's me 
respect me like I, I can I can to some extent ask for money but then it's not an easy thing especially if I feel like yo you know what this person is also struggling or they're going through their own shit like I'm always considered of the fact that like okay what if that time being that person is is going through the most and when I you want money for like miscellaneous things like unnecessary type of shit, you know? Things that you could survive without them. You could rather sustain from them and be like, Okay, you know what, it's fine. As much as it's sad, but then it's not the end of the world. You won't die. You, you're not gonna die. Nobody's gonna die from simply being like, eh I for example, let's say my friends are going out to the club or whatever and obviously you have to have money obviously I cannot stand people who go out with the crew but don't really have money unless if I we agreed on it and be like oh you know what friend I'll pay for you it's okay you don't have to worry about that it's fine if we agreed as much as for me it's not an easy thing to just rock up knowing for it I don't have money. That's another thing I can't do. As much as a person would be like, no, it's fine, don't worry. Yeah, like, it's not easy. It's like, I'm, one way or another, I'm gonna try and find a way to pay you back. That's just the way I am. It's not easy, man. Like, if you consider the fact that people your age are, okay, people my age basically. Um, not worried about certain things, you know, it's like, their mind is not even there, it's like, yo, party, club, you know, varsity experience, for me, to some extent, as much as I want that sometimes, but then it's not a priority, considering the fact that, like, okay, you know what, sometimes I would rather push other important things than push that experience as much as it's scary or hurry mm. what if in the future you have these regrets so hurry, yo i could have done this when i was younger but i chose this part of growing up at the early age you know it's like man it's a lot to take in it's sometimes mentally draining being independent at the young age because it's like yeah i'm grown <laughs> i'm grown but just and i'm not ready like to some extent i'm not ready for that like it's yo guys it's just, just draining sometimes it's like yeah like at that age and like at a young age you still want to do what your friends do be stress free man you know don't okay as much as as a young person you always have stress we can't say we cannot neglect the fact that there are other things to stress about but then financial stability and like going the out without having to worry or without actually having to work for their money yo guys <laughs> to some extent i'm not <laughs> and as and as as much as I appreciate what I have, like I'm beyond blessed. I know that for a fact. Like it's a, as I said, it's a privilege for me to have what I have. But to some extent, it's like, am I, am I really sure what I'm taking this path? Like, am I certain? Or like, I want to grow up and be doing adult things at this this age really like you know i wanna be a response it's not easy yes. and you get to see your peers or whatever people my age being stress free man like yo living the life got it going oh global like yes. without having to worry about like what's gonna happen tomorrow am i going to be covered for tomorrow that type of a life 
either way yeah i don't know where i was going with this whole topic but then if you you have a pop you come back from like a proper background and whatnot don't rush to grow up guys enjoy enjoy it like enjoy whatever you can enjoy don't try and be don't 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 be selfish don't be stupid don't be selfish and and consider it when your parents be telling you oh there's no money and not not then you start acting like they don't like uh -uh, don't do that i'm sorry that one i don't support but if you can enjoy life don't don't try being independent because if this if the time has not yet come don't don't try but then if it is it's close approaching start start trying finding your path and yeah basically to some extent it's necessary i feel like i'll thank myself in the future and be like well we did well we did we did we did a young something man we did something right there but then to some extent i'm like hmm is this really what I want? Is this the path I'm taking? Because basically growing up on its own is a scam, guys. The biggest scam. I see y'all Instagram scammers. <laughs> Don't come for me. But then I see the other scammers, ne? But life on its own. Basically growing up, you know? The phrase, yeah? Hola, otla de bona. Hola, hola. I go. All out like the born. Yo, I. I did. I did not understand in big way. And that's the other thing about black parents. They don't put it out there for you to actually understand, like holistically understand. Or okay. A co easy in a pond, guys. A co easy. It's not easy out here. And that's the other issue like they're not direct they like okay they give you a two percent of advice especially when you're young and they expect you to understand it what am i supposed to do with that at a young age what am i supposed to do with that at the age of 10 do you think i'm gonna consider it i'm gonna be like mm, okay and a very at a young age you're like yeah i want to grow up i'm tired of school I'm tired of homework. I want to control my life. <laughs> it's not easy controlling your life, guys. Mm. Either way, yeah. That, that's my rent for today. I didn't have much of a structured rent. But then, <laughs> our rent are never structured. Because we're just giving our 2% off whatever comes to mind considering the topic so if you would like me to discuss something comment down on my youtube channel that way i usually would remember because on on my insta i try considering the topics and the ideas that you guys give but sometimes i tend to forget them but i'll try writing them down the moment that y'all give me the ideas but yeah so yeah, that's it for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe do the do the things man do do everything that's necessary to do that must be done do the things how long i did ah uh -uh. <laughs> i did what did you do to the pot? I did what I I forget I forgot the video. I forgot the video what it says, but either way. Basically do the things. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and yeah man. See you guys in the next video. Bye.